of the coin. Both are temporary and coming and going together. Even so, this understanding uh, is not enough in order to be convinced that this conviction happens better to them. So, the conviction means, is this just like understanding or just like knowledge as he said? So, knowledge is some idea. So, we are fair of that idea, fair of that knowledge. We have no doubt about that. So then only we are naming it as condition. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, but yes, it's, 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 it belongs to thought. It yeah. belongs to thought. With our thought alone comes the conclusion like this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the, the, the thought also should not be there always to keep the condition in their hand. Yes. It, yes. It, 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 yes, yes. it expresses the condition and it disappears. Yeah. But even though it, the thought comes and goes, the condition, the understanding will be there. I understand yeah. this as uh, description. <laughs> this description. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, maybe we have uh, one uh, one and a half day more. She will have some time. This uh, she will have some time to sink in this knowledge, no? This understanding. Yes. Once it gets yeah. uh, sink in. Yes. So this whatever the doubts, no? Yeah. It gets automatically. For all, of, for all of us, this happened in this way. We ask many doubts. I have replies. But we think that, again, this is not an another knowledge. It is just a recognition of what is happening inside us. It is not uh, It is not happening to somebody if you are listening. It, what he says is, it is happening very much inside us. Yeah. You are reacting and again, uh, we want to justify whether I have done it right. Mm -hmm. Again, an, uh, that is another reaction. So it keeps on goes like that. The life of all these cycles is few microseconds, as he said, you know. So you don't have to bother about to correct it again through another to bring another emotion. Okay, I'm going to be like this. No need. Once you understand this, this knowledge. Once you know this root, every time you don't have to remember. Yes, I'm going this root. Mm -hmm. I have to take it till left turn. I have to take my second right. No, nothing. It happens on its own. Mm -hmm. Like this, this understanding. Once it happens, it will lead you to the freedom. <laughs> you, get, uh, you don't get uh, what you put attached to your emotions again and again and again. It will be there, again it goes. Like uh, you have that uh, <laughs> the liberty of freedom, what is happening over a period of time. This gets undone automatically, like he says, no? You don't have to do anything again, because th that, that is an another effort. Mm -hmm. So this understanding is happening automatically. It is there already there. That's what he is uh, trying to do. Yeah, That's yeah. what uh, I uh, Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm <coughs> just to finish my case. I am, I'm not aware of, of really of, of any doubt that is the problem, but <laughs> but conviction <laughs> does, does not happen. <laughs> I know, but it's not this hundred percent knowing. You know, I know what you are talking about. It's true. It's no doubt about it. Yeah. But my question is, how I'm not convinced then? I think it's not the translation. Your problem will get uh, solved. Uh, there is another chapter. Uh -huh. Who am I? You discuss. Uh -huh. That okay. time, no, this what okay. you call this, this conviction will get. I think that will get solved. Thank you. When you go to the next chapter. So now we may take the another aspect, the the inner and the external, yeah. Yeah. the internal and the external. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in because the many scriptures, many masters, they are not uh, demarcating the external and the internal. They jointly, they discuss everything in a joint manner. Yeah. Then only we are unable to have a clear cut idea. So if you are able to divide the matter into internal and external, the matter is very simple. Is this also because Ramesh Balsakar, he talked about the working mind mm. yes. and the kind of neurotic mind mind that's kind of just going on thinking on mind. its own thinking mind yeah so in a way what you're saying is very similar isn't it mm -hmm. the working mind is that yeah. which deals with all the external mm -hmm. applications and everything mm -hmm. and the thinking mind yeah. is something that we don't have to deal with we just let it go yeah, as a free said to keep other teachings out of the picture <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, but it is similar. It is uh, so here, the main thing is that if you uh, understand what is purely psychological <coughs> and purely physical. So here, the even, even, even everything is in the physical world, we consider everything only to be the help of our mind. Without the help of mind, we cannot consider anything, we cannot feel anything, we cannot understand anything. So with the function of the mind alone, we deal with everything. So we cannot separate our mind from anything. So everything is within the mind. But even though everything comes within the mind, and within the mind, we have to think the external world, what is the external world, and what is purely psychological world. And uh, for example, uh, we have several kind of emotions within our mind. Um, when we f face a adverse situation, adverse situation, uh, some uh, adverse feeling, some uh, good, uh, some for, for anger or fear or sorrow may happen according to the situation we are facing. Something may happen. So whatever happens in our mind is only a reaction. It is. Uh, it is not coming naturally. So when we are facing some situation, uh, the things happen like this. But whatever happens in our mind is only the reaction. But at the same time, the external world is uh, demands our action. It is not uh, we expect our reaction about. It, it, uh, it expects our action. If you, for example, if, uh, if somebody is hungry, and he asking some food from us, you know, and we we get sympathy upon him. It is the reaction. Uh, he is not expecting a sympathy from us. He wants some agile, some food. Actually, it's some physical thing he made. <coughs> but the sympathy is only a reaction. He is not re expect a reaction from us. So in this way, each and every situation does not expect a reaction from us. It directly expects some action. Some in, uh, so here we have to deal with the external world with our action. Uh, but at the same time, uh, some reaction may be there. Psychologically, we may have some good feeling or bad feeling must be there. So here, what we have to do externally, we have to do some work. So for the work, we have to use our mind. So without the help of the mind, we cannot do anything in the world. So we have to use our mind to the external world. But at the psychological world, we have no duty. We, we should not use our mind in, in terms of the mind, against our mind. So we have no duty. The mind has no duty against the mind. But the mind has duty against the world, against the situation. But here, many school of thought, they divided mind into many parts. Uh, some some portion of mind as the the wandering mind, and some portion of the mind is the intellect, the emotional part, intellect part, and uh, some is some put something as ego, something as the in in Sanskrit it is named manam, buddhi, siddham, ahankara. They divide into four parts. Uh, for example, the chittam means that is our psychological structure, our nature. Our psychological structure, our nature of our mind is chittam. Chittam is the storehouse of subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is known as chittam. And uh, manam, manam means mind, the wandering mind, the thought. I think many things here and there, I have many feelings and all those things are, uh, are just like mind. And another one is the intellect, that is known as buddhi. So here the buddhi is intellect, the intellect means the deciding part, what I have to do, what not to do. So that is buddhi. And the ahankara is that, ahankara means the ego. So all these things are happening to me. We have the feeling, if for example, I have some uh, anger or fear, we think the fear and the anger comes to me. Or uh, if I meet a, 
uh, unfavorable situation, we think the unfavorable situation happened to me. So we think we, we, we have some personality or ego. So that is known as the ahankara, ahankara or ego. So they mainly divided the mind into four parts, four categories. So these four parts are necessary if you are related to the external world. So the, all this classification of our mind into four parts, it is necessary to deal with the external things. For example, we may have anger or we may have fear. So that is our mind, that is our emotional part are coming in our mind. So here our intellect has to use whether I can use our anger to the external situation or we can use our fear to the situation. That is the, the, the decided by our intellect. The intellect has to decide whether we can do it. It, cannot, it, it can select. I, this is the good position, I can use our anger. This is not the correct way, I should not use our anger. The intellect has to decide like this. So, for all this happening, only with the, everything is happening with the, the, the our subconscious mind. So all the, that is no problem. So whether it is psychological or physical, all of the expression happens from our psychological world is from our subconscious mind. So subconscious mind is not under our control. So we need not uh, speak about the subconscious mind or our, the chittam. The chittam and subconscious mind we need not speak because it is not under our control. So it is not under our regulation. It happens naturally. It may be the cause, it may be the reason behind us, it may be the operative force behind our mind, but it is not around our control. So whenever we face some situation, the subconscious mind reacts to the situation and produces some feeling. Some anger, fear, sorrow, anything. The subconscious mind may be the cause, uh, but we, we need not worry about it. <laughs> but after the happening, what we do is the question. But here, for example, when we meet some situation, we think it comes to me, it happens to me, it happens to me and when we think I, it happens to me, then I have to take some decision in what way I have to respond to the situation. So here, this classification is necessary. I have to take something has happened to me and I have to do something in relation to that. So the intellect has to do some work like this. But uh, if it is purely psychological, uh, no work is needed in the external world. If it is purely psychological, for example, I bought my newly purchased motor bicycle in my in front of my house. It has not yet been registered. It has not yet been issued. I place a brand new motor bicycle, I place my bicycle in front of my house and slept in the night. But in the middle of the night, some uh, <laughs> thunder, thunderstroke comes and destroy the entire bicycle. So, I, I, a total loss, total loss of money and uh, energy, everything is lost. So I have some sorrow. But here I have no nothing to do with the loss of my property. The property has gone away uh, totally. I cannot rectify anything. I have no work with related to the thing. For example, if somebody has uh, stolen away my bicycle, I have some work to trace the trace back the bicycle. But here no work is nothing. It is uh, complete destroyed. So here externally no work is there. But psychologically we have some problem. Psychologically we have some sorrow. Uh, it is I have the feeling of loss. So it is purely psychological. So this is externally we have no work. But psychologically alone we have we feel we have some work. So we have, to have sorrow. We are unable to uh, we are unable to be with the sorrow. We feel uh, <coughs> some, we feel disturbed by our sorrow. So here, this is purely psychological. So when something is purely psychological, so can we divide our mind into four parts? The, the ego part, 
the emotional part and the intellect part. So, here there is no necessity to divide our mind into four classes. We have to put the total mind as a mind itself. So, as you rightly said, so the intellect also coming as emotion. So, here everything is the mind. There is no, we cannot divide into mind, intellect, buddhi, ahankara, you need not classify the mind. Psychologically, we have to take it as a total mind. There cannot be, not, no part of itself cannot be considered as a superior one to deal with the other thing. So, in the external world, some part of your mind can be considered as superior and we can take as an emotion to the necessary tool to deal with the external world. But if it is purely psychological, uh, the intellect has no power. So we should, you, we, have to, we have to consider the intellect, ego, whatever it may be, uh, our subconscious mind, ego mind, or intellect mind, or emotional mind, every, we have to put everything as mind. There cannot be, it should not be classified as mind, intellect, ahankara, or ego, no classification is necessary. If you classify it like this, that is the real problem. So we have to put the mind as a total one. So the mind is, if you have the mind uh, is uh, in struggle, and one part of the mind is in struggle, and the other part tries to get away from the struggle, that is also mind. So that means the mind is in struggle with itself. The one is struggle within itself. There is no two part. The one part is in struggle with the other, another part. That is not, the, the mind is total. So when we give importance to that, uh, when you give importance to one part, then only it is in struggle with the other part. Actually, if it is purely psychological, if it is purely in internal, uh, the mind is total. There cannot be any part, there cannot be any distinction between mind and intellect. Everything is same. If it is related to the external world, the external <coughs> world is alone, all this division is necessary. So we can, then only we can consider some is the emotional part, some is the intellect part. We can use our intellect and with the help of the intellect, we can even, we can use our emotion to the external world. Some fear, we can apply our fear to the external world. We can make use of our anger to the external world. Some, some, some situation, anger may be necessary. In some situation, fear may be necessary. Some, so everything is useful. Everything you can use in a positive way. But at the same time, we have no necessity to use anything against the mind. Nothing is needed. No work is needed. No regulation. No, no development. No restriction. Nothing is needed in the psychological world. So psychological world, what is needed is total freedom alone is needed. Here no condition, no, the entire freedom, total freedom alone must be needed. Here, Actually, the me, the me is part of the mind. So when we give total freedom to the mind, the me also get freedom. The me also get uh, liberation. Because whenever it is taking some struggle within the mind, the me is uh, always in a, a state of struggle. So when, the, when we are giving total freedom to everything, when we uh, accept a total mind as a total mind, then everything is in the flow, becomes a flowing mind. So the me is also flowing, the emotions are flowing, the impact are flowing, everything is flowing. So everything is the flowing. So the liberation alone is there. So, so liberation means the natural and total flowing of our mind is the liberation. Because then the sorrow just flows and there's nothing there to say that that's a problem. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a problem because it's not divided. So, uh, no problem, because whenever we divide ourselves to be somebody yeah. and I have the problem, yeah, yeah, then yeah. only the problem is there. So there is nobody, even though let it be, if somebody is there, it is the part of the game. We should not take, even though it think I have some problem, I have sorrow, let it be. We have to give total freedom to the, the person who is getting sorrow. We should not, we have to give freedom to the, if you, that means it, it may look, um, uh, some absurd, but at the same time, it is the correct, it is the correct way. If, uh, if, uh, for, 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 uh, if anybody comes, I am in a distress, I am have some agony, I have sorrow, 
<laughs> what i have to do <laughs> and if you simply ask her let it be sorrow <laughs> you may be with the sorrow <laughs> that is the right answer let them be there but at the same time it sounds it is not correct it may it looks it is not correct but it, it it is the correct answer it is the correct way so you have to be in sorrow we have to be in struggle we have to be in distress we have to be in uh, whatever way we have we have whatever we happening let it be the natural way there should not be uh, as we have some struggle within ourselves uh, we should not thereby we should not assume somebody there we have to create somebody to handle with everything but if you create somebody to handle with everything that is the problem so if somebody happens like this some ego comes some yell uh, some uh, intellect may come i i will look after that so we have to put everything in the flow so actually there is, there should not be any anything to which anything to get so we have to take the total mind as a happening mind there should not be any doing so all doing must be right to the external world but psychologically it is it must be happening mind so if we think like this if we understand like this then we can if you simply distinguish what is purely psychological and purely external then we can use the psychological world to the external world there is no doubt about it we can use our intellect we can use our ego we can everything we can use we can use our mind we can use our ego if our intellect if it is external world it, it is a must without ego we cannot deal with you have to understand you are separate and the other persons are separate then only you can deal with otherwise you can no dealing is possible so you have to use our intellect without the intellect nothing is possible we have to use our intellect you have to use our ego you have to use our emotion everything is good everything is good if related to the external world but if it is purely psychological everything in that case also everything is good but totally good even struggle within yourself is also good so you have to give total freedom to everything and you may also clarify the external and the internal so what you said before it's uh, the everything is changing all the emotions are changing by themselves things are psychological structure and i thought that it should be reasonable to understand this because this is how life always looks but it seems like it's not clear for me and for most people this is why as you said there is a fear that if there would be a sow it would be forever or for many like years or something you know, a month and it can pass in two minutes or one hour so is that like a, a realization or also not understanding like the buddhist people say everything is passing that everything is moving so here we have to understand the what is purely <coughs> psychological on the external so if you are classify like this and we have to understand we have no work psychology so that alone is the understanding and we have to test whether what will happen if we have this understanding that we have to find out many school mates many school of people many scholars many masters may say in many ways but everybody is meaning the same thing but in their own way but we need not worry about their teachings but but if you but here what we are uh, expected is that we have to distinguish what is purely psychological and what is external and physical <coughs> if you come if you have the uh, demarcation like this and we can then only we can put down the unnecessary thing so we have to put we have to understand what is purely psychological if you understand what is purely psychological and external 
systematic source. So the division of purely psychological and external, that you have to understand. Yeah, but if, even if I know that something is purely psychological, <coughs> I still don't have the understanding that I should not do anything. So if it, that means you, you, if you, if you understand what is purely psychological, and afterwards you, uh, you understand you have no work there. So in spite of the, the, if you, if you understand that no work is there, the matter is over. Then you have to understand, uh, come to a conclusion, you should not have any work there. And, uh, but I'm saying I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand that. That means you you want to have some work in the psychological world. Because <laughs> I do things and it looks better after I do them. Just for so first of all, you take you whether you uh, it is okay or not. Let it be later. So first of all, you understand what I am trying to say. So what is my actual concept? And you understand, is there any clarification, if you want any clarification in respect of my concept, respect of my approach, and you can clarify. And for that, whether it is applicable or not, whether it is uh, worth doing or not, that we can test later. First, now we can clarify what we are trying to say. Is there any doubt or clarification? I, I don't, it's not a doubt, I think, uh, I, I think, I don't know if it's true, that something is missing for me to understand this, because it's still, it feels right intuitively, but you said the intellect needs to understand this, and my intellect mm. is not understanding this, like, for him is, so something some, is missing. Some uh, different kind of uh, instrument has to understand? You expect <laughs> instead of intellect, some other instrument may be there to understand. He doesn't understand that it's not his job. He still thinks it's his job. The job of what? The because as everybody or many people said here, when there is emotion, mm -hmm. and I know the best thing is to let it come, comes naturally the resistance to let it come. So usually so I do work with the other part, the one that's resisting, I do work with this and then the emotion can flow and then I feel better. So this is also work, but if I don't do it, there's just a So here also, struggle. when we uh, let go everything, it is a kind of work. So here, the letting go of our emotion is not, I'm not suggesting. So we have to find ourselves, we have no work. So the letting go of the emotion is, it's a kind of another work. That is not the work, that is not I am trying to say. I know, this was, uh, <laughs> this is why I'm clarifying this with you, because uh, the latest concept is letting go. <laughs> because, because it seemed to work for me, mm -hmm. this kind of thing, uh, <coughs> it's hard for me to understand that I don't have work. Because there is much more emotional freedom with me now than was for some years ago when everything was just subconsciously just blocking, blocking, blocking. And then I say I was blocking, so I was working with the power that was blocking already, it was already made, it was made, it was already made in the course of my life. Like, uh, what is trying to come <coughs> no, no. Can you uh, tell some uh, specific examples from your uh, experience? So, people say here also, but like from childhood, you, from the conditioning and the growing up, you naturally learn to block the emotions and to be afraid of them. Okay. So, when I discovered this, I saw there is already a me that is in control of the emotions and blocking them. So I was working with this part of helping him, I don't know, so he can let go of his job. But it was still work. But this work seems to work for me. Because in results, in my mind, maybe if I didn't do it, something else would happen, I don't know. But in what way you are resolving it? Uh, by, uh, by some uh, meditation, dhyana, something like that. It's yeah. more, I can call it more therapy, it's not like a real meditation, just listening, yeah. listening, yes. allowing, everything that you say is also work, and I understand it's also work. Yes. But because it seems to work in, in a specific way... In West we have a very developed approach for uh, subconsciousness to heal the subconsciousness with the, with the intellect. 
So it's not so that it's not approachable through the intellect. And this is the uh, trouble which I think a lot of Westerners may have. Um, it's possible to heal subconscious mind with techniques, with therapy, to some degree, to some degree, or even to deeper, uh, it also is possible to heal the deeper subconsciousness. Not maybe 